There are two Alephs, one an invisible Aleph, and the other a visible Aleph. The visible Aleph is the Bet, because the Bet is two. In Arabic, the Bet is written as a horizontal Aleph. We bring this down in Judaism is the way to put on a mezuzah. We put the mezuzah on either vertical or horizontal. And the real thing is we put it neither way. So the vertical line, which will be the way we write the Aleph in the future, Yud, vertical line, Aleph, and another Yud. That's the way we'll write uh, the Aleph in the future. And, but for now, it is said that the two ways of a mezuzah should be vertical and horizontal. The horizontal is the, is the, uh, what I'm what I'm calling the visible Aleph, the Bet, which starts off the Torah, because the Bet contains two Alephs, the one visible and the other not visible. And what do we do? We don't use the horizontal as the Aleph. We include that horizontal line in the bet, but we uh, uh, in the aleph and in for the mezuzah, because the mezuzah represents the aleph. The aleph is Hashem, Kodosh Boraku, God. And so, what do we do? We put the uh, the mezuzah either vertical or we put it in a diagonal. The diagonal is kind of like an inclusion of the vertical and the horizontal. So we have that diagonal line for the mezuzah in general, or we sometimes use the vertical. The point is, the, vertic the, the, the diagonal line is in how we write the aleph, in our normative life, we write the Aleph with a, a Yud on top, a diagonal line, and a Yud on the bottom. And this is to show the tunis within the Aleph. And that tunis within the Aleph are the two Yuds on top and on bottom. And this Aleph as one is expressed as two, the Bet. So the Bet is really an Aleph. And how does this extend and why am I finding this now? Well, it's still before sunrise. And I... And I wake up in the middle of the night and I see myself as the Mishkan. And the Mishkan is the temple. And I'm thinking about the Holy of Holies, which is 20 cubits by 20 cubits by 20 cubits, which is a yud times a yud times a yud, because a yud is 20 in full. And this cube, which to me is the origin of the Kaaba, the dimensions within the Holy of Holies. And inside that cube is the 
are the temple stone, or the, the, the lukos. And these lukos are two. Because the two is really the one, the invisible and the visible. And as we progress, I see myself as this, the, well, and then the yud times the yud times the yud to make the cubic measurements is 10 times 10 times 10, because yud itself is the 10. And so we have 10 times 10 times 10. And that's 1,000. And 1,000 is an olive. And so this olive is within the mem. Because what's a cube but a mem? And that final mem, anyway. And so I wake up and I say to myself that everything is the beat of the heart. And this beat occurs once every second. Once every moment, every rega, a rega echad is rega is two hundred seventy-three plus eighty plus six uh, thirteen is two hundred and eighty-six, and that's poor. That's that's casting of the poor and poorum. And every beat of the heart, you have sixty beats. In a minute, and that's how we get the minute. Because each beat of the heart is the beat of the internal, how they show it in Islam, is the, is the uh, black stone. But in Judaism, we consider that stone not in Mecca, but in in underneath the temple, the Ibn Hashatiya. An Ibn, a stone, Aleph Bet Nun. And what they call and what they what they call this in Arabic, an Ibn is a sun. S O N, and 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 Ibn Arabi brings it down. Ibn Arabi brings it down so beautifully as the compass for the Aleph. And the open of the compass is the Bet, and then the circling of the compass from the center is the Nun, because in Arabic it's written like a semicircle. And that's Ibn. And for, in Arabic, that's sun. But for uh, for Judaism, that's 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 stone, Ibn. And the Aleph is kind of mm, maybe the, the the invisible Aleph. And so we have Ben. Bet Nun, that's sun, S-O-N. And Christianity brings this stone, this bend down as a son of God. But it's really the stone, the Ibn Hashatiya, the foundation stone. How the sun, how a human being's sun is his foundation. And on this day after the Shavuos, or maybe even they can consider it two days of Shavuos in the Ethiopian tradition. It would still be this this stone, this 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 second day of the marriage day is the marriage of the son and the father. 
in just normal life. One always thinks that you want to marry your mother in, 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 um, in that you want to kill your father and marry your mother. But that's only a sexist way of looking at it. Where the, fa the son is an extension of the father in reality. And then he's only married, the father has only married the mother to marry the son. In this, in this Ibn Hashatiya, that's the foundation stone. And underneath the foundation stone is the, this is spring. So 16,000 amos. And in this, each beat of the heart is one second in the cosmos. And it comes down into the Mishkan, the physical body, the temple, the third temple, as, as the heart. And that's one beat. And then the Samech, to make Ein Sof, is 60. Because there are 60 beats of the heart in every minute. And that's in the that that heart is in the in, under, for my thing is 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 in the cube in the in the square in the final mem. So there's a samak in the final mem, and there's an aleph inside the samak, and that's my symbol. And as we are in there. In the, in the two lukos that are held in the hands because the hands are the two lukos. And that's what separates man. And this is the mysticism. And so the real mysticism is in the human. As the beat of the heart. And then miraculously... There are 60 beats of the heart. And then how many breaths are there? There are 12 breaths in every minute. And 60 beats of the heart. And so the relationship is one to five. For every 12 beats of the heart, the, uh, the, you, you have one breath and each breath is a world because there are five worlds symbolized by the five knots five ties in the, in the, uh, the titsis and titsis is 600 and titsis is, is a cube because that titsis goes on to the to the Mishkan, the, the rectangular and that 600 that's titsis that symbolizes this, this highest level of the external Kaaba the stone underneath. And so these 12, these 12, uh, the 12, which are the 12 tribes, and the 12 of anything, is, is related to the 60 heartbeats as one in five, in the five worlds, these five are the five fingers. It's also the letter He. So all this is related to the He. It's 
So the a hay over an olive. Because there are five breaths. And there are five heartbeats to every breath. So we get a breath by showing the olive inside the hay. And that's five. And in one of my symbols that hay with an olive inside is found with two hands on either side. And those hands in my symbol, which cover the letters, so to speak, or the lucos, in my, in my dream of the Akashic record, in this mysticism. And what is the 13th of everything here? Aleph, Het, Dalet. The Het Dalet is the 12, and the Aleph is the 13, and that's the invisible Aleph. The 13th is the invisible Aleph that starts off, the Aleph that starts off, Echad. It starts off before the bet. And the mysticism is, is the same in all religions. The esoterics are basically the same, expressed in different languages to give a different point of view to the focus. And this is where we must, we must be. B, like the letter B. <laughs> the B contains two. And all languages start with being. And isn't it strange that the Quran starts with the letter Ba and the Torah starts with the letter Bet. The second letters of everything. And this Talmud starts on page Bet. Where's the olive? And that's the beauty that you can't see it. You can't see it with the physical eye. You, you can only see the bet with the physical eye. But there's an olive inside the bet because it's a bet, not a vet. And so that's the dot inside the bet. And the dot inside the bet is the dinam. And so even that dinam, that ibn hashatiya, which is the dot inside the bet, And this is the center of the world where Yitzhak was sacrificed by Isaac. And Yitzhak is the din. And the ayil is, is, is hevel. And Yitzhak is, the, is, is kayan. And these are the brothers of, of Avraham. When Avraham, well, Yitzhak, not the brothers, these are the sons of Avraham as coming down. And, and Hevel is related to the Ayil and the, and the, and the horn, the horn from the, from, from, 
the, the shofar is the original f- from the ayil and related to Yitzhak and Yitzhak's related to Kayan and the ayil is related to Hevel and this is the reparation and the whole thing comes from the beginning of time unfolding and, and manifest different worlds of the five worlds of the hay and the five knots of the of the of the of the talus and uh, of and of the titus and just like there are two talisim there's a kadol and a katan and the thing that joins that makes them always one talisim is the sitsis which is 600 And the and the atbash of sitzes comes out to be ninety one. Amen. Ah, which is in this case the invisible olive, and then men, which is man, because everything is man, because all is all man lachem and shamayim, and min is from is the same letters as man. And if one one has to recognize that everything is is is, is rains and man and even even work is man. And there's no effort. And as you expand, and there's a freedom that comes in, and you open yourself up. And what opened you?